Hello there Quirky Birders, it's Lynn here and welcome to another fun tutorial. Um, meet Milo the Mouse. Um, I thought it'd be quite um, fun to paint this little character. Really versatile little design, your little Milo. He could be holding a bunch of flowers for Mother's Day, he could be splashing through some puddles carrying an umbrella um, or he could just have um, a balloon in his hand. So a couple of different ways um, to um, adapt this little um, quirky character. So let's make a start with painting our little Milo. So we've got um, the line drawing already done here um, and I'll make this freely available on um, our on my Facebook page. So what we'll do to begin with is we'll start to put a little bit of base colour on to the balloons themselves. So I'm going to use a nice bright red um, for the balloons. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to allow there to be a little bit of white of the paper on show. Just so we've got those little bits of highlight. So I'll just make sure we've got a couple of areas of highlights. And then we'll just do exactly the same with the other balloon that's next door. So this little Milo, he's going to be holding two balloons today. There we go. Now it may seem that it's a little bit pale at the moment, but we will be going back over that um, again in just a little while. Now when it comes to painting little Milo, I'm going to use a little bit of um, brown. So let's do the tail. So we'll do the tail. And we'll also do his little arm. For the ears, we're just going to do a little semicircle around the ears in the brown. And then we'll do his little feet. Now when it comes to doing the body, what we're going to do is we're just going to concentrate on this bottom right hand corner. So I've just applied the paint all in this bottom right hand corner. And what I'm then going to do is wet the brush. And just with that wet brush, I'm going to just move that paint around so it lightly covers his face. Just push all that down. So you've just got a nice pale covering. And then you can push the darker tones down just around the bottom of your little Milo. There we go. So we'll just give him a couple of moments to dry before we, um, we carry on. But while that's drying, we can just turn our attention again to the balloons. And we'll pop a little bit more colour onto the balloons. So again, I just want those areas of the highlights. I don't want to lose those. And we'll just put a little bit of the colour at the bottom of the balloons as well, just where they're going to be tied. Do the second one. There we go. And 
I'm just going to lift away that um, that paint that's just pooling there, just with a drier brush. There we go. Okay, and well, the next colour we're going to need to use is a little bit of pink. And what we're going to do with the pink, I'm going to put a little bit into his ears, like so. And we'll put a little bit on the tip of his nose. There we go. Now we can just add a little bit more of the brown just to add a little bit more texture. So I'm going to put a little bit more colour onto his feet, give them a little bit bolder. And then again, we can just drop that colour around his bottom. We can take the colour of the tail. And then he's also his little, his little arm. Okay, so he just needs to dry now, and once he's dry, we can then complete the ink detail. So I'm just going to let him dry for just a moment, and I'll be back in a little while. Okay, so our little mouse is now um, dry, so we can now just add in the ink details. Now, pen wise, I am using a 0.2. Um, so I'm just using my 0.2 pen, so keeping it nice and fine. And what we'll do to begin with is we'll start by just coming around the ears on our little mouse. Now I'm going to make sure he has a little sort of furry back, so I'm going to be a little bit scratchy with the ink markings around his tummy, down the side of his face, and just down the back there. We can do his little hand. His nose, his mouth. Let's have a little bit of a scratchy detail to the pink around the pink of his ears. We can do his little feet. And then we'll outline his tail. We put some whiskers on him. And let's just do the balloons. Just with a steady hand, come all the way around the outside edge of those balloons. A little bit of a ruffle on the edge there. And the same again. of those. And then the, he needs just the string that he's holding the balloons. And there we have it. One little Milo mouse carrying his balloons. Now this little character is so versatile like I said at the beginning of this video. You can actually paint him 
um, for greetings cards. You could make him more linear um, and actually make it into a, a bookmark. So there's lots of different ways that you can do your little mouse. Um, and it's just perfect um, for Mother's Day as well. So do enjoy, have fun painting him and, um, and please do share your work to the page. It's lovely to see what you've been up to if you've been following these videos. Have a good day now. Take care. Goodbye.